Indeed, after a rivalry that could not have been closer, a man who can now cherish his first Formula One title. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a massive show of respect to the 2021 FIA Formula One world champion, Max Verstappen. <laughs> Max, many congratulations. So, Formula One World Champions. How is that sounding to you now, just a few days on from Abu Dhabi? Uh, it's uh, my life goal achieved. So, it, uh, it sounds pretty decent, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Life goal achieved. So, what do you do now? <laughs> oh, everything what comes next is just a bonus, to be honest. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm of course, going to keep pushing. I'm, I'm going to be in F1 for a few more years. But... You know, this has been um, an incredibly tough season as well. I mean, especially, you know, looking back at it and also seeing these, like, shots, you know, um, especially with my dad, um, you know, going back in the day, go-karting, when I saw these three go-karts up here as well, you know, everything comes back and traveling all over Europe with that one goal is first, you know, getting to Formula One, but then actually be successful in Formula One, win races and, and fight for that title. And um, I was very lucky to have a lot of good friends, family, you know, especially my dad and then my girlfriend, all, all there in, in Abu Dhabi. And yeah, what a, what a crazy race in general. I mean, if they would have told me that was going to happen the night before, I probably would have had a heart attack and I couldn't compete. <laughs> but yeah, insane. Can you just put us into the driving seat for a moment? That final lap, the safety car pulls in and you begin the chase for the lead with one lap to go. Just give us a sense of what was going on. I mean, line. throughout that, that whole race, we didn't have the pace. Uh, it didn't look like, you know, we were going to win um, because the last few races, we, we were just a bit behind. Uh, but I never gave up. I always said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to make it look easy for them. I'm just going to keep pushing and I'm going to try everything I can to at least keep the gap close. And uh, that's what we did. I think as a team, you know, we did a great job with the strategy, always putting new tires on at the right time. And then you do need a bit of luck sometimes. I mean, when you look throughout the whole season, we had a lot of bad luck. And I actually lost a lot of points already. So otherwise it would have been a completely different championship. But that's always, you know, you have the ifs. So, you know, going into that race and then seeing it was not happening, I wasn't very happy at the time for, I don't know, 55 laps or something. But then, yeah, we had one lap to go, and I, ha I knew I had the, the better tyres on. I was like, well, I have nothing to lose now. But then something else came up. I, I started to cross the, the line for the last lap, and I got a massive cramp in my leg. So I had to deal with that as well in my throttle, in my throttle leg as well. So when I was actually going to go for the move into turn five, I had a massive cramp. And I was actually very happy there was a corner coming up because I could actually break. But that was also then the move to go into the lead which was great, but then there were two long straights to defend and, you know, to deal with a cramp like that is, is not very nice, but I also knew that, you know, I'm, I'm fighting for a world championship here and this has always been my dream, so, you know, I was, you know, just biting through that moment as well because on TV you don't see these kind of things, but it was very painful. Um, but, of course, you know, to, to then come over the line, all the emotions came out. I didn't even know what to say, we're just screaming. I don't know, I, I never had so many people... Uh, screaming into my earpieces, so yeah, I think I'm still a bit deaf to this. <laughs> Did you know thing. what they were saying? No, no everyone was just screaming, and um, yeah, it was insane what what came out, and it's just for everyone, you know, what it meant, especially after all these years of domination from Mercedes, where nobody had a chance to finally have a fight. I think everyone wanted that, and uh, especially, of course, I wanted that. But um, yeah, to then, of course, come away with with a championship is is insane in a way but also I mean just I think in, an incredible season and I really loved it it's been an incredible battle with, with Lewis you know one of the greatest drivers ever in Formula One 
And uh, I think we really push each other to the limit, sometimes over the limit, but that's also part of racing. Um, but I think at the end of the day, we really respect each other, and I think that's very important, yeah. um, especially after the race as well. You know, we, how painful it is. We look each other in the eyes, and we respect each other there. And uh, I can't wait also for next year, you know, to come back, and for sure we're going to try to fight again. A lesson in never giving up, that's for sure. Max, all racing drivers dream of this moment uh, to stand on the pinnacle. You and your family have worked very, very hard to achieve this. Uh, have you always had the belief that this was achievable? Well, I mean, to be honest, when I was in go-karting, I never really thought about it too much. I was just enjoying my time, and I, w I just wanted to win every single race I was competing. And of course, in the, back, in the back of your mind, your goal is to get to Form 1 and try to win, try to win there as well. But that, still you know so far away that you know you just try to do it one step at a time i think the steps went quite quick but um yeah i think for me the the, the biggest influence in my career of course especially in the beginning has been my dad you know with with his experience already being a formula one driver he prepared me very well for everything you know so everything what came at me was not a shock or a surprise and it felt pretty normal which of course you know there isn't normal but it helped me a lot and, um, you know, these kind of, of things you will never forget. And, of course, it's been an incredible journey to get to this point, but this is now potentially really the start of things. Where do you see your future with Red Bull Racing Honda? Well, like I said on the in-lab, hopefully 10, 15 more years. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can stay with them for 10, 15 more years. Oh, there's a nod going on over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I think we all agree to that. So, uh, yeah, I hope, of course, that um, we can do this for many more years, all together with Red Bull Racing. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, please, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our 2021 Formula 1 World Champion, Max Verstappen. And also, our president for one last time, Jean Todd. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute honor for us to present the awards this evening. We really hope you have enjoyed it as much as we have. And may we expand, extend our own congratulations to tonight's worthy champions. Have a wonderful rest of the evening and a magnificent 2022 season. Good night.